Hello! Today I'd like to do a little bit more doodling with noodles. Now as you can see here I've got some very very scrumptious looking noodles. Now noodles um, in my little book are one and a half inch wide strips of fabric. I usually cut them the full width of the fabric. Um, as you can see these noodles are actually quite quite long. Whoops, better get hold of one here. Quite quite long. So they're quite useful, possibly a little bit too long for some things. But uh, nonetheless, and I thought uh, that these lovely um, graded colour noodles were rather delicious today. So I'm just going to have a little play today and show you another idea that I've come up with for using some of these one and a half inch strips. So I've made a little block that looks like this, which has uh, got a couple of possibilities that I've come up with so far, of ways of using it. So I just thought I'd show you how to make that. So to make the sides, we're just going to need to have some dark grey and black noodles or of course whatever colour it is that you're using and we've got the same thing on either side so I've already joined some strips together so here's my dark grey and black so I've got a couple of rows of those and uh, then for the centre area I've got it so that it kind of grades um, from the dark through to medium grey to light grey to white and then back to the light grey to the medium grey and the next one would be the dark so that would be the next one that would join on by making the block like that. Um, so I'll just quickly show you how to do that. So obviously to do the strips we've got to have a dark grey, medium grey, light grey, white, then the light grey, then the medium grey again. So you only need one of the white and one of the dark grey to every two of the light grey and the medium grey. Um, and I've put them together in that order specifically because that was the order that I wanted them in. And so now I'm just going to quickly show you how to sew them and make a couple of blocks while you watch and then we'll have a little bit of fun with a couple of possible layouts. Um, so the, the block's going to finish measuring at six and a half inches. So for my side strips here that I've already joined, I'm going to cut them to six and a half inch length. So now I can, I can stack them one on top of the other, but just make sure that you've staggered the seam so that it's not... Um, laying on top of the other seam because it will the bulk will be, make it harder to cut and I'm using my board to help me line everything up for cutting I'm going to trim off my selvages and I'm just going to come along six and a half inches and I'm using my board measurements for that um, to cut in at six and a half inches because that's the size of the block that I'm making and I'm going to cut another pair because I'm going to make two blocks and of course you can continue on cutting the rest of the strip in the same manner and you can actually get um, six six and a half inch lengths out of a full width of fabric so if you've got two sets like I have you can do the edges for six blocks and then for the center area um, which of course because the strip started at one and a half inches because there's six strips that's why we've got the six and a half inch size because that's how wide that strip is now. So I'm going to cut those and I've actually cut those so we've got this one the one and a half inch strips finish at one inch wide so this will be one inch, two inch, three inch, four inch so this bit in the middle is going to be cut at two and a half inch to allow for the seam allowances because it will finish at two inch to give us a six and a half inch square block. So I'm just going to trim that off the sides and now we just need to come along two and a half inches and again I'll just do a couple because that's all I'm going to need while I'm here. Um, I can do another one, well, just have one floating around, I guess. So I've got the rest of the strip there. I can get 16 of those out of the width of the fabric. So obviously a little bit more than the side strips, but it works quite well to know some of these numbers sometimes helps with calculations. So I'm just going to now lay my strips on the sides of my Block here, so I've got the strip sitting either side. I want the dark grey next to my strips so that it matches in with this colour that's in here. So I'll quickly sew those on. Nothing terribly hard about this. We're using a quarter inch seam allowance. Um, it's reasonably helpful to have a good quarter of an inch seam allowance. I have done an earlier uh, quilting tip and technique video on seam allowance. If you're not sure, you can have a look for that. Um, it's, it's a good idea to know where your quarter inch seam allowance is because when you start with um, lots of seams and things you want things to be the right size. Mm, quickly run the other one through. 
through while we're here. So you can see I like to have things ready to chain piece. And we can come back and do the other side now. Again, make sure that your dark grey is against your strips, not the black. You might make this in any different colours. It doesn't have to be plain fabric, so I just thought I'd try the solids for a change. I have a certain appeal. And same with the next one. Make sure that your dark grey is next to your strips. They look quite, quite delicious in blues or greens or all sorts of different colours. Now I'll snip those apart, snip my threads off and I'll just grab the iron and press those. So I'm just going to, because there's lots of seams here, they're making that seam so that it kind of wants to fold over that way and stay out straight. It would be harder to press it that way. So we're going to press it so that that seam goes under the grey. And this one just goes that way. So on the back you can see that that seam is pressed into the grey each time. It just it, When you've got a lot of um, other seams and uh, things in there, it, it makes it a little bit firmer. So you need to let the fabric go the way it wants to go when you can. Sometimes you have to be the boss and tell it you want it to go a different way. So that's looking good. So that's the block done. That didn't take very long. Mind you, I had already sewn the strips together. Just be aware when you're sewing the long lengths of strip that they can warp a little bit, um, just to keep an eye on that. And be careful how you iron them, because the ironing can make a huge difference to how they sit as well. So now I'll just give you um, a couple of ideas on how you might lay these out. Because I've got that dark grey sitting there, you could just put, pop them in rows which I think is quite attractive. And I've got it so that that dark grey goes to the medium grey, to the light grey, to the white, and then goes back the other way again. I kind of liked that idea that it might do that. Now they could, that you could do them so that they go like this, and then you get that kind of alternating colour thing shifts around a little bit, um, or you could do them in stripes so that you have something else in between. With, of course you could just do stripes of these up, but if you put another stripe of something in between, and I've chosen here the um, medium grey, I thought would be quite nice between them. And just do, a, do, do your quilt in rows up and down or across, depending on how, the, how you like your rows to be. And that was just another idea I thought, and then you'd repeat the grey in more blocks sort of a stripy quilt. I quite like that idea. Um, and then one other idea that I had, and you may have lots more ideas, that's what the whole doodling with noodles is all about, is trying to think of different ways of using our fabrics. Um, so we could turn them this way and that way. So you alternate the direction of each block. And what you end up with, when you kind of squint at it and look at it from a distance, is um, the sort of weaving over and under, which is also very effective. And I've run out of blocks. And I've kept my dark to the left and to the bottom of each block there, because I think that helps with the flow of where things are going. We needed one more block there, but we haven't got any more blocks at the moment. So that was just a couple of ideas that you might be able to use some of those delicious noodles for. And uh, we'll come back again another time with some more ideas. Thank you.